Kailangan ba talaga natin ng polio vaccine certificate bago tayo lumabas ng bansa? Well, before I continue with this video, please do subscribe on my YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button below. And if you want, you can share this video para mas marami pang mga kababayan natin ang makapanood nitong video na ito. Yes, welcome to another episode of my car production ko no videos. Well, as you've seen in my thumbnail, for today, we're going to talk about one of the trending topics which most of the Filipinos, especially the OFWs, are getting confused from. Ito nga po yung do we really need to secure a polio vaccine certificate prior traveling abroad? Kailangan ba talaga natin ng polio vaccine certificate bago tayo lumabas ng bansa? Well, first, let me just give you a brief history on how we came up with this added requirement before traveling abroad. As we all know, the Philippines had been declared polio-free since the year 2020. Yes, almost two decades na po tayong polio-free sa Pilipinas until September 19, 2019 when our Philippines Department of Health declared a polio epidemic as two cases of uh, poliomyelitis were confirmed. And because of that data from the Department of Health, the World Health Organization acted upon the situation. Well, the WHO stated that the risk of international spread is actually minimal. But the risk of transmission and recirculation of the polio virus, especially within the Philippines, is high due to low population immunity. And because of that advisory from the WHO, some countries, specifically those 19 countries, are already requiring polio vaccine certificates for Filipinos upon their arrival to their respective countries. Here are the list of the countries requiring polio vaccine certificates for Filipinos upon arrival. Lebanon, Brunei, Georgia, Maldives, Morocco, Pakistan, Qatar, Seychelles, Afghanistan, India, Indonesia, Iran, Iraq, Jordan, St. Kitts and Nevis, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Ukraine, Belize, and lastly, Oman. So the Department of Health are already advising travelers leaving the Philippines to check the immunization requirements of the country they are going to and if required, receive a dose of inactivated polio vaccine before departure and get their ICV or the International Certificate of Vaccination from the Bureau of Quarantine to serve as a proof of vaccine. So ito na nga po yung mga kabayan, yung sagot dun sa ating katanungan. Yes, we need an International Certificate of Vaccination from the Bureau of Quarantine before leaving the Philippines. For example, like the OFWs, if ever na nagbakasyon tayo sa Pilipinas, ng 4 weeks and above, required na po tayong kumuha ng International Certificate of Vaccination from the Bureau of Quarantine na magsaserve as a proof na na-vaccina na tayo ng inactivated polio vaccine. So how can we get that ICV or the International Certificate of Vaccination? Well, the main issuing body of that certificate is the Bureau of Quarantine. The main branch is in Manila. Nasa may likod lang daw po siya ng Manila Hotel. There are some provincial quarantine stations which also issue this kind of a certificate. But first, you have to make sure na meron nga sa mga lugar nyo. Well, if for in case uh, that uh, you decided to just go to the Bureau of Quarantine in Manila, nandun lang po siya sa may likod daw ng Manila Hotel. So I think madali na lang hanapin yun. Its address is sa uh, 25th Street, Port Area, Manila. Vaccination schedules from Mondays through Fridays only, 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock p.m. So ano nga ba yung process natin kapag nandun na tayo sa Bureau of Quarantine? First, you have to be at the Bureau of Quarantine as early as possible. 
kasi by this time marami ng mga nangangailangan ng certificate ibig sabihin mas mahaba na yung pila na dadat na natin if ever napupunta tayo ng mas late or the like so the average waiting time is I think 3 to 4 hours yung mga ganyan hanggang sa matapos nyo yung procedure second you need to fill out data forms those data forms will be available in the Bureau of Quarantine after you finish filling up all the forms you can now go to the submission of forms to the screen Staff. And after the screening staff already validated your form, that's the time you get vaccinated. After vaccination, we have to pay 300 pesos, not for the vaccine, but for the certificate. After the payment, you have to submit the data form to the encoder section. We're in that encoder section, we'll issue that certificate of vaccination. Well, for those of you who are asking, pwede bang magpa-vaccinate sa mga private hospitals or private doctors? Actually, pwede naman daw. You just have to secure a medical certificate from that private doctor with the lot number of the vaccine that was uh, injected to you. After that, you still need to submit it to the Bureau of Quarantine for verification and for the conversion of that medical certificate to the ICV. Also, for those of you who were asking if meron ba sa mga probinsya ng Bureau of Quarantine, yes, meron po tayong mga provincial quarantine stations. Ang hindi ko lang po alam is if it is available in your provincial quarantine stations. So the best thing to do is to contact your provincial quarantine stations and inquire about this ICV before planning anything. Meron namang mga nagsasabi na nako hindi naman kailangan, hindi naman inahanap sa immigration yung certificate ng vaccination. Well, for me, much better to secure it kasi requirement nga po yun eh para sigurado ka 100% na wala kang magiging abirya sa immigration. Ano namang mawawala kung magpa-vaccine ka? Actually, advantage mo pa yun kasi na-vaccinate ka na. And uh, wala ka pang problema sa immigration. Unlike if, for example, hindi mo ginawa yung procedure and then by the time na nagpunta ka sa immigration ng ibang bansa at hinanapan ka nun, mas lalong malaking problema, di ba? So, better to secure it before kang umalis ng Pilipinas. So, yun lamang po. Maraming maraming salamat. See you again on the next episode of my car production kuno videos.